In this video, we're going to do a short overview of the workspace in SOLIDWORKS 2019. When you open up SOLIDWORKS, you should get a home screen or a welcome screen like this. There's a couple tabs for recent documents and learning area. The tutorials in SOLIDWORKS are good and any alerts for updates and things like that. To get started, we're just going to select part and that should open up our workspace. On the right hand side, we can open up our resources from SOLIDWORKS, our design library, our file explorer, our uh, view palette, appearances, custom properties. So we have a lot of options. If you hit this expand button, it should make it a little larger. And if you click that and then click space, it should close. Up at the top, we have all of our common tools and our menu bar. And we do have the SOLIDWORKS menu, which is hidden. I'll do that one more time. Notice that if I float over that arrow, I get the normal menu bar. The first time you open SOLIDWORKS, it may ask you for your units. For this document, just select inches. If you'd like to change that, We'll go up to the options and we'll click document properties. Scroll down to units and here we can change anything about our document. In this case, I'm going to select under decimals for length. I'm going to select four decimal points. If there's any other things you'd like to change, now's the time to do it. Notice that I'm in inches, pounds, and seconds. I'll hit OK, and now I know my units are correct, and I have four decimal places. If you look at the bottom right, it says IPS at the bottom. This is where we can change very quickly our units, and if we need to, go back to our settings quickly. Starting from the bottom of the screen, this area here is our status bar, our reference triad to the left, our graphics will be in the middle, and this is our feature manager. This is really important for looking at how our parts are designed. The command manager is this ribbon toolbar up top. And we have a heads up view display here with a bunch of quick clicks like zoom to fit. To scroll through these different toolbars, features will be our 3D features, sketch, our sketching tools for 2D. If you're interested, SolidWorks, Automate some of the tools that you use regularly using the command manager. Mine is selected. If you keep that selected, it should tell you a bunch of the tools that you use frequently. You can use the mouse to customize certain gestures. If you drag the mouse while holding the right button down, you should get this pop-up screen. If you click on customize and move over to mouse gestures, you can choose what you'd like your gestures to be or customize it yourself. So for a part, I'm choosing different sides or different views of my part. So when I go to the left, you can see that my origin moved. When I go up, you can see my origin moved and I'm back. Over in the feature manager, the tree, we have our features down here our properties of what we're selecting here. Configuration, so like different parts of assemblies. Our DIM expert, uh, which lists like the tolerance defined using SOLIDWORKS. And then we have display for appearances, like lights, cameras, scenes, decals. At the bottom, we do have a message area, so you can see exactly what's going on as you're working. When we get started, we'll create a folder that we can save things in, and we'll be able to add and remove parts and control everything through there. That should give you a quick overview of the layout in SOLIDWORKS.